Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin breakout to the downside. Are we headed towards $10,000 or do we have a new all time high before the end of the year? Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including the breakout today. Are we headed down to $10,000 or new all-time high by the end of this year. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at The Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, Fear and Greed 51 has gone up since yesterday, but the overall market down 1.5%. Bitcoin at 26,234, Ethereum at 17.86, BNB at 305, XRP 44 cents, Cardano 35 cents, Dogecoin 7 cents, Polygon 87 cents, and Solana $19.30. And the top coins today based on AI would be Cosmos Hub, Lido Dow, Phantom, Ocean Protocol, and Tron. And you too can try token metrics for free. There is a link down in the description. Now, Bitcoin continuing in this downward trend has broken out of both wedges. The one wedge from the 100-day moving average and the top of this downtrend. The other wedge, the 100-day moving average and the 50-day moving average, continuing. So, Bitcoin breaking out to the downside might be headed towards this support level, which was resistance back here in February, or even towards the longer uptrend support since way back when the markets turned back in January. Right now, that's looking roughly around $24,500. Now, prices come down, people get bearish, and you know what else? A recession. I know, a recession. Leading economic indexes at levels that has always, always triggered a recession since 19. 60, the current contraction the indicator consist consistent with recessions in prior decades. You can see when this all comes down below this red line has hit a recession every single time. Looks like we are headed towards a recession. Now, did that cause the price crash the other day? No, probably just a lot of longs having to cover their position. Bitcoin open interest pinged higher yesterday, almost 450,000 Bitcoin, but the funding rate is still positive. As a result, 120 million of liquidations in the past 24 hours, mainly towards the long side. As the price came down, long liquidations had to cover their position, pushing the price even lower. Is that it? Bitcoin's tanking. Are we going to $10,000? I knew it. Well, let's wait just a minute. Bitcoin is now retesting two major long-term support levels at the same time. The 200-week moving average, this blue line, and also the 111-day moving average, this yellow line plus a bullish divergence on the daily RSI with the RSI getting higher, the price getting lower, bullish concoction, bruise. This might not go where everybody is thinking it could go. Everybody's saying $10,000, which would mean that the bottom was not yet in. But if we take a look at the evaluation of wealth held by single cycle long-term holders and the youngest of short-term holders, we note a continual transfer of wealth from the newly blooded long-term long -term holders to short-term holders. This has historically marked a macro turning point among, across prior cycles with the persistent transfer of capital signaling a significant change in market character and structure. We can see that historically, when this blue line, the rotal ratio, has topped and has come down, that has marked the bottom in previous cycles, every single cycle. Well, guess what? It already happened already marking the bottom. The chance that we're going below there, pretty darn low. As a matter of fact, more likely is we know where Bitcoin is going to exactly. Breakdown is not scary, likely headed to $24,000 to $25,000, bounce off of there, similar to what we did back in March when everybody freaked the F out and then price rocketed upwards, likely just having the same exact thing happen once again. That's actually exactly where this head and shoulders predicted that Bitcoin price would go weeks ago. So is this a surprise? Nah. If we take a look at the stock RSI, the green light is on. A three-day chart shows a possible rebound here from falling wedge on an oversold condition. We have the falling wedge, we have oversold on the stock RSI, and a cross right here could potentially send Bitcoin after we've reached these levels right down there that we were talking about. Also, after Bitcoin broke the red line this on the RSI down here on the bottom, it never came down to previous lows. The red line has been very meaningful, even marked the bottom of the COVID bottom. Just right now, we are touching that once again, likely being another bottom for Bitcoin not to go much lower. Isn't it interesting, though, that every time the EMA 21 line crossed the middle line in the Gaussian channel, so this blue line crossing the middle Gaussian line right there, 
that Bitcoin started a new bull market. It happened right back here. It happened right back here. It was like that in 2012, in 2015, in 2019. It's crossed once again right now. Why would this time be different? As a matter of fact, it shouldn't be different until proven differently. Now, this chart should knock your socks off. And so you might want to sit down. You see, Keep it hearing, how can we reach a new all-time high before the end of the year? It's impossible, especially since Bitcoin is going to $10,000. Well, about to take a look at where we are right now compared with the last impulse. Back here with the SNR flip, retested $10,000, took about three months to complete. So you can see this right here. Took about three months to complete that retest of $10,000. Now, two months later, boom, had rallied 90% to new all-time highs. Four months after that, hit a top for the impulse, just a total of six months after completing the SNR flip, took a retest of $10,000 over 500% higher. If that were same thing were to happen right now, about three months, complete this retest. If this levels should hold, like we were looking at, $24,000, $25,000 could hold. Well, in six months, we could be up to roughly $130,000 to $160,000 per Bitcoin. So hold on. It could be a very, very interesting end of the year. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.